We're taking a motion time lapse, which means that we're having the camera, which is attached to the Mavic Air, move forward really slow at about 3.2 kilometers per hour, taking a shot every three seconds. This will give us this nice movement as we're closing in and allow the movement of the clouds through the frame. In the camera mode is how you access this. So first thing we have to do is we have to go into our settings and go into time-lapse mode. So we go into photo, we do timed shot. We're gonna do about every three seconds. Do 16 by nine. We're gonna do a JPEG shot, color and style are gonna be normal. We're gonna acquire the target that we want. Make sure we're in a safe zone for that. I go into our tap fly, which will be a target acquisition for flying. And we're going to tap fly the horizon and we're gonna reduce our speed. We want it to go very slow, but moving. So here we go, we've moved it, see very low down there. Again, tap fly, now we're gonna say go. It's gonna start moving now, I'm gonna turn the shots on and it's gonna start shooting. So now it's gonna go every th three seconds, it's gonna take a shot as it moves forward really, really slow. We're taking a bunch of JPEGs uh, rather than a raw shot right now. And we're making sure that when we're flying that we've targeted with the tap fly the area where we want to fly to. That keeps a real steady progression because you can't have it jerking back and forth by hand control. So you can actually set that to any speed you want and you're gonna have to adjust the speed to the number of frames that you're taking a shot in uh, each time. Uh, probably the faster you're moving, the longer between shots and vice versa. You can do your own camera settings. I have an ND filter on this. That ND filter gives me uh, basically sunglasses for the camera. And on the screen, you can see the countdown of the uh, capacity of photos. So you can monitor how many photos are going through and everything else is looking really good. We're staying real consistent. It's not very windy, so that's really good for us. We're gonna let this go for probably, I don't know, about maybe 10 minutes or so. And our battery power is the biggest concern. Our battery will run out. We will call it back when we have about 30%, but there's not much wind today, so we should be able to have a longer life battery than we did the other day. It looks like this is gonna be a nice shot, so we're gonna keep direct line of sight with it, and we're gonna keep our transmitter pointed directly at it. So let's go set it down and let's watch it roll. Thanks for watching this tutorial on the motion time lapse with the drone Mavic Air. I've written a blog associated with this. It kind of gives you the step throughs. That's in the links below. There's also links to our YouTube channel and all the episodes that you'll find of our behind the scenes work of adventure filming around the globe. It's really exciting, a lot of fun. I think there are about 160 episodes now, so check them out. But subscribe, you guys gotta subscribe so you keep getting this kind of information and some great entertainment. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.